Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Abdullah, and today I'm just gonna show you a quick routine repair. Everyone, say hi to my technician, John. Hi, John. Right here he has an iPad 5, and this thing needs a charging port replacement. So he just pulled out the motherboard, he's gonna hand it over to me, and I'm gonna take it over to the micro soldering room and get this thing fixed. So come on with me. First things first, we're just gonna peel off this heat shield because if we don't, this is, this is gonna melt, it's gonna turn into a mess. So we just grab some tweezers, pull this thing off, and then turn around and remove this shield right here. This will expose the leads for the charging port. And now we can get started. All right, once we remove this heat shield, then we're gonna apply some flux and put down some low melt solder. We're gonna put down some solder that melts at a lower temperature than the solder that's currently on this charging port. That way we don't have to put as much heat and it's a lot safer to remove and you'll have a less chance of tearing up the pads. So I'm gonna get my low melt solder right here. Just lay it down. I'll grab my soldering iron. I'm gonna put this flux on these pads. Sorry, this solder on these pads. All right, next we'll grab our heat gun. Turn on the fume extractor, and then just apply some heat. Right now I'm at 400 degrees Celsius, 50% uh, airflow. I'm actually going to turn up the airflow. You'll see the solder start to melt. As soon as it starts melting, that's when you start lifting. And evenly distribute the heat. This one needs a little bit more flux. And there we go, got the charging port off. Next step, I'll grab uh, a clean room wipe. Get some industrial alcohol on there. And wipe this thing off. Once that's nice and clean, I'm gonna apply some more flux and some low melt solder. And then prep these pads for the new charging port. So I'll grab my soldering iron again and just run it through here. Get some fresh low melt solder on here. Once that's nice and evenly distributed, I'll put my soldering iron down and clean this off again. Then I'm going to put down a little bit more flux, make sure it's covering the pads entirely. And I'll grab my new charging port. I got this from Wholesale Gadget Parts. I'll leave the link in the description. Make sure to use code KABONSTER for 5% off. Then I'll line up, right here you have two guys. There's two gold squares on either, on either side. You want to line those up with the holes on either side, make sure it's nice and even. As long as those gold squares are in the circle, then you're good. So I like to add some more flux. We're going to make a flux sandwich here. Alright, make sure it's nice and even. I'm going to put down some more low melt solder. And we'll grab our soldering iron and solder this down. I like to anchor down one side and then go do the other side. There we go. That's not going to go anywhere. So now I can go through and do this entire thing. There we go. That still looks like a mess. So I'm just going to clean this up. Then I'm going to add some more flux and make this thing look pretty. Press down on each pad to ensure that it has a secure connection. Just clean it up one more time. And there we go. It doesn't look the prettiest, but it's all there. It's all connected. Uh, after we have it all soldered down, then I like to get in real close and make sure that everything is connected. So I'll grab a tweezer and I'm going to press down next to each pad. If I see it flex, then I know that it's not a solid connection. So I'm just pressing down in between the pads, and if I see that the pad itself is flexing or moving from when I'm pressing near it, then I'll know that it's floating and it doesn't have a secure connection. So far, everything looks good. Let's keep going. 
right? It looks like actually these last two, see how they're moving like that? These need to be redone. So I'm gonna add a tiny bit more flux, just in that area. A little bit of solder. And we'll anchor those down. That, that should do it, let's see real quick. This one's solid. This one needs a little bit more. There we go, now the pad itself isn't moving. So this thing is done, just gotta clean it up. And not drop your soldering iron. And double check real quick, make sure the pads aren't moving. And there we go, it's solid. And that is a successful charging port replacement. So then I'll just put back, replace the cover. This is important, you have to cover this up, otherwise uh, it'll touch the, the metal on the frame and short something out. So make sure to cover that up once you're done. And now you just go put it back in the iPad and see if it works. All right, now I'm just gonna hand this off to John. And he's gonna put this all the way back together and we're gonna see if it works. Now he's got it all the way put back together and check this out. Nice. Thank you very much, John. All right, and that wraps that up. I hope you learned something new. If not, please let me know that I'm a terrible teacher um, and hopefully I'll do better on the next video. But make sure to leave a like, comment, and turn on the post notifications so you'll catch me on the next one. Thank you so much.